हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल दिस इज देखी छोटन खोची एंड इफ यू आर न्यू टू माई चैनल देन वेलकम यू आर मोस्ट वेलकम टू माई वीडियोज तो ये आई थिंक बेसिकली सीन इन दम ने लॉनली की लाइक वट्स टू दिस ब्लॉग अबाउट फ्यू मंथ्स बैक आई हैव पॉजिटिव वीडियो सेंग लाइक स्पेंड अ डे विद मई इन शूलरी एंड देर इन दैट कमेंट सेक्शन आई गोट सम क्वेश्चन रिगार्डिंग द हॉस्टल सो आई हैव जोट इट डाउन few points about the hostel i should cover in this video so the first thing is taking leaves okay the, what the steps was the procedure in taking a leave and then about the night passed out like if you want to spend the night out of the hostel and then i'll cover the fees and then about the rooms and then so food rules and regulations of hostel okay and then vacations and then i'll cover cafes near our hostels So yeah, let's begin the video. Okay, so let's start with the first point that is about taking leave. So for taking leave, you have to just uh, there's three, four blocks in our hostel A, B, C, and D. So each block is assigned with uh, different wardens. So like you have to go to your assigned warden and like you have to just call your parents. not the normal call you have to video call your parents and then you have to let them talk with the wardens and like if your parents grant the permission you'll just get the leave but you have to write a one short application and then ma'am will just sign it and you are free to leave the hostel okay, so i missed out one point regarding the guardian uh the comment in the comment section the person asked me if you have to bring your guardian here no it's not that like you can just sign the application and your parents has to be on the phone video call and they'll just grant you the permission and then you can leave the hostel you don't need to bring any guardian in the hostel for any kind of leave okay so next point is regarding the night spending night outside the hostel till when you can stay outside so usually our class ends uh, till 5:30 so after that uh, now it's winter time so you have to come be on campus till 7 pm but you have to be on hostel uh, till 9 pm but for summer it's different in summer you have to be on campus till uh, 8 pm and then hostel is same as the winter it's 9 pm so here is a thing you might be thinking why she is talking about campus and the hostel both together because uh, our hostel uh, to reach our hostel we have to like cross our campus because it's like together joined it together right so that's why so we have to reach campus on time and then the there is they both have different timings to be on campus and to be on hostel like i said in the before clip i think i'm going to be very very honest with this point about food so the food here actually see we are from arunachal pradesh right it's like the northeastern states and then we are here in himachal pradesh which is north of india and then like you can understand the cultural difference so we eat different things right the food is obviously different i understand but obviously we don't like the food here many of the girls don't like the food here like i have heard because like there are so many masalas going on in the food which we don't usually have it in our states Okay I think this is the very common problem that we face uh, while staying in the hostel it's not that north hai to it's not good like if we go to south or to the west side we'll face the same problem regarding the food because like we eat different food like we like spicy boiled thing but here we get fry and then the food is little sweeter so yeah i think this is a very common problem to the order north is student studying outside their stay uh okay so let's keep my problems aside so next thing is uh the veg and non veg uh food in the hostel so we don't they don't serve non veg together in the mess so like for if you're non vegetarian person like me and uh, so there is another counter from where you can buy the non veg uh stuffs so they don't serve it every day like they'll have this menu kind of thing uh, like in which they they'll serve the non veg so if you are planning to come in shunini hostel you'll get to know about it so we like we are talking of the food right so let's talk about the cafes so we have only one cafes in our hostel yeah, and then there's uh like if you feel hungry during night time like after 11 pm to till morning 4 am so there is night way, night mess is also available here so like whenever you 
like hunger strike to you like in the midnight or in the morning like around 2 a.m or 1 a.m you can just go to the night mess and then from there you'll get whatever you want to eat so it's this is a very good thing about this hostel that you have night mess also like if you are hungry you don't need to strive you can just go and have so next up is very important that is about the rooms and the fees of this hostel so basically they provide two seater room three seater room four seater room so the four is the maximum like uh, the seater room here okay so now let's talk about the fees of like let's start with the four because i stay in the four seater room so currently we are paying fifty two thousand three hundred and twenty rupees but we have to like in the beginning of the admission you have to pay ten thousand security deposit money the last one is the, about the vacation okay who doesn't likes vacation right so we get very very like good amount of vacation in this university so like for winter break you'll get one month one month and then for summer break i think we're gonna get two months in which you can like do internship for the vacation and leave process it's the same thing you just have to video call your parents and then you have to write one application and then you have to get it signed by your warden in which the, your parents and warden will like talk to each other about you taking the leave so that's it there is nothing like more procedure going okay so i really missed out one point about the hostel rules like you have to before like going out anywhere you have to there is two gates here the one is the old one and one is the new one so you have to there is entry gate there are registers of different blocks so you have to just sign your name your registration number and the timings you're going out and in you have to sign it that's the formality you have to do do before going outside the hostel that's it